What is up guys? Back with another video today. Over the course of the four days that we have over President's Day weekend, I'm going to be trying to do a video every single day over those four days. Now, a lot of you guys have requested videos for me to do. Loser Eats a Worm, that one actually did really well. The recent video that I just did actually hit 100 views in one day. That was totally epic. I can't believe that actually happened. That was probably my most successful video so far. But today I'm going to be doing a video that I actually wanted to do for a while. It's a gear that I use video. And, hey. Hey! Okay, so, anyway, um, we're going to be trying to do a the gear I use video. So, rods that I use, tackle that I have, video equipment that I film with, and rods that I use as well. Anyway, so... I'm going to be showing you all that, so maybe if you guys want to start your own YouTube channel, that can help you guys as well. So, hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's uh, jump straight into this. Woo! Alrighty guys, so f we're going to be starting off with the rods first. This first rod is actually from a company that you guys might know as Pissy Fun, some of you might not know about it. Um, this is actually the company that I bought my fate first bait casting reel from. Um, I actually kind of screwed it up. I got sand in the gear so I had to return it. I got this one and um, so I got the new Pissy Fun Torrent. This one a lot of people use because it's cheap, affordable, and it's uh, it's pretty high end up to the most reels that people buy. Um, uh, it's a 7 1 to 1 gear ratio. Um, it's a left handed. I'm a left hander. And it's on an Inferno uh, corkscrew, I think it's called. I'm just making up stuff at this point, but it is an Inferno bay casting rod. It's a six foot medium heavy rod. Um, right now, I just have a little hook of bait on there. Um, uh, I use this usually when I go out uh, saltwater fishing, even though it doesn't handle well in saltwater. Uh, it's really easy and light, so you can pretty much carry it anywhere. Um, the rod actually is a two-piece rod so you can break it down when you feel like it and yeah it's just really simple to use and now I'm gonna move on to my second favorite bait casting rod alrighty guys second rod that I'm going to talk about is yes another bait casting rod this is actually the one that I've used for a very long time actually one of my favorite rods that I have uh, just because it was the first one I actually started out with it's a jawbone rod from Dick's Sporting Goods it's another six foot rod, medium heavy. The reel is a seven to one gear ratio as well. Eight bearings. It's the Quantum Escalade left-handed bait casting reel. I really enjoy this rod, it's really light. Um, the rod's a little bit more heavy just because it's, um, it's uh, I use it to catch a little bit more heavier type of fish. Uh, as you can see, I actually use all braid on most of my reels just because braid is a lot easier to deal with. When I used to use monofilament um, line, uh, it actually would bird's nest really easily. So, yep, this is my second favorite rod. I'm actually gonna show you my first favorite rod that I use, and here we go. Alrighty guys, last bait casting rod I'm gonna show you. Actually, after this, I'm gonna show you the spinning rod. I'm gonna make this one a little bit more quick. This one is the Sea Knight Dryad. Hey, bird, I'm trying to film a video, please. Please! All right, so getting back to this. This is the Quantum Escalade HD uh, Medium Heavy. This is actually a seven foot rod, a little bit bigger from my other rods. This is uh, another seven one to one gear ratio, 11 bearings, all braid as you can see right there braid on all my rods and yeah this is actually my favorite type of rod I got for Christmas shout out to my parents for getting me this rod and reel but yeah this is one of my favorite rods and getting over to the spinning rods alrighty guys you guys may be wondering do you have any spinning rods well I actually have a lot of spinning rods those were just the main rods that I usually always use this is one of these spinning rods that I use for bass or bluegill or something like that this is a Matsuo uh, spinning rod, um, really good rod to be honest, I actually got from Walmart, um, Walmart quality is always the best, Walmart and maybe a sponsorship somewhere in the future, but uh, Walmart has great rods, I'm not even going to lie, their rods are just 
epic, dude. Like, if you go down the fishing aisle, I'll be the only one in that aisle. So, yeah, just uh, to recommendation, this is one of my favorite reels. My dad actually uses this one a lot. But yeah, make sure to check this one out at Walmart. And yeah, there goes the bird again. Hey, buddy, please be quiet. So we are actually going to be moving on to the gear that I film with. Now, if you guys are like, dude, you're going way too fast. I can't even understand a word you're saying. I don't even know what gear you're using. Don't worry, guys. I will leave all the gear that I use. The links will be down in the description. Moving on to my camera gear, this is actually the chest mount that you guys may see on a lot of my videos where I show it right here. It just clips right here on me and it's a chest mount. You can probably get it for like I think 40 or 50 dollars at Walmart. And yeah, I actually have it with a, uh, I don't know what it's called, I just had it on the top of my head, but it's a, I'm going to call it a see-through GoPro case. It's just an outer shell for the GoPro. The uh, lens cap that I have is just some cloth with the bottle cap on top. Then I actually upgraded um, for a uh, better sound quality because I knew you guys couldn't really hear much out of just the regular speaker in the GoPro. It is actually, as you can see there, a little chest mic right there. It is actually the Movo chest mic mount for the GoPro. I will leave all these in the description. So a lot of you guys may be wondering what do I film with usually when I'm facing either this way or facing either that way. Um, I'm actually going to show you right now. It is actually the smartphone Movo video rig. It's got an external boom mic. It's got a handheld gimbal or joystick that you can hold when you're filming. It's actually got a wrist mount so you can strap it to your wrist just to kind of in case you accidentally drop it it'll hold down. I actually have a tiny little um, tripod on it. Um, it's the Zyko tripod and I'm not going to actually, I don't really know where it came from but you guys can look it up. I don't know if they sell it anymore. It's a pretty old tripod mount but that's what I usually always film with. I might upgrade in the future, but I'm going to leave this one down in the description as well, and moving on. Alrighty guys, not the last, last but not least is the Wu Tungsten gear that I have. I actually have a lot of it. I even gave some stickers and what else? Um, some gear away. Um, Map Pack actually won that one, and then TJ actually won the poster giveaway that I did. This is a face bluff that they have. These things are only like three bucks online. I think it's only three dollars on their website as well. I'll leave that down in the description below. But if you guys want to see how this works, yeah, don't don't give me bad comments about my bed head, but yeah, it's pretty bad. So all you do is you take it and you slide it over your head. Ah! Ah! Okay, I got it. Um, and then it can either be used to block just your face, or it can be blocked to block your neck, or you can go like like this and look like a dwarf, just kind of what I look like. And then other Wu Tungsten gear is their Wu Tungsten rod socks. These things are not that expensive, it's probably like five or ten dollars for one. These things really come in handy. It protects the eyelets if you want to put it away in your truck. It's only like five or ten bucks. Wu Tungsten makes some really good ones. They even come in different colors. I have the right, the white and black, and then this is the red and black. I think they have like red, white, and blue, and green and black too. But uh, yeah, it does a lot of stuff. It protects the eyelids. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Even though I didn't get through all of my gear, that was just the main stuff that I used. I didn't want to go and individually show you all of the tackle and stuff that I used. But I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the links in the description below. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and as always, God fish your fish! Woo!